Hi, this is Leah Sykes. Right here. Great, thank you. Oh. Weren't you supposed to do that Nashville shit? Jeff and I out here in Nashville. Did I say Nashville? I meant Asheville. I'm here for about a week on vacation, but more importantly, I want to talk about cold air damming. Cold air damming can occur in many places across the world, but here in the United States, it's mainly associated with the East Coast. The basic driving mechanism is that the Appalachian and Blue Ridge Mountains that run mainly north-south block any low air mass that is moving from east to west. Now, with high pressure systems, cooler air is sinking towards the Earth and spinning in a clockwise direction, and that is the case for all high pressure systems here in the Northern Hemisphere. Typically in the winter, high pressure systems will swing down from Canada through Quebec, and on the east side of the system, the clockwise spin pushes the descending cold air southwest. This cold air near the ground hits the Appalachian Mountains and essentially stops. See way down there? That's, that, that's where it's gonna happen. The cold air doesn't usually extend all the way to the Atlantic coast, but it remains closer to the mountains. Because it's cold, dry, and dense, it isn't buoyant enough to rise the few thousand feet and escape the mountains. Temperature differences between the coastal areas and the cold air damming areas can be as large as 35 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. Okay, so fine, it's a bit colder on the east coast, but at least that air is dry, so it'll probably be sunny, right? If only things were that simple. When an area of moisture approaches the Appalachians from the Gulf, which it always does because it's always warm and wet in the Gulf, I'm not jealous. This air is actually less dense than the air surrounding it, so it can rise over the mountains, unlike the cold air behind it. And because the cold air behind the Appalachians is dry, the moist air that's able to rise above it condenses into a blanket of stratus clouds, and it can either rain and drizzle for a few days or dump a couple feet of snow and sleet. So what stops cold air damming? Well, if you remember, we talked about in the last video the sun heating the Earth's surface and then the Earth's surface, transferring that heat to the cold air just above the surface, that whole process can actually stop a cold air damming event. The problem with that is even the thinnest layer of clouds can block the solar radiation necessary for surface heating to stop the event. So yeah, winters can suck east of the Appalachian Mountains. Big fan of the East Coast summers though. Great weather. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. pretty big house. Oh, that's a pretty big house. All right. You know, I'd say it's probably about, you know, like 14, 14, uh, 1400 uh, square feet. Uh, I'd probably go. Zillow is actually, uh, it's a booming company.